The night of my accident was September 12th, 2009. I was an athlete at Glendale Community College doing track and field. And I used to also work as a waitress in a Van Nuys restaurant. While I was heading home from work, and it was late at night, a vehicle coming at approximately 90 to 95 miles per hour came and hit my car. As, as soon as that, hit my, that vehicle hit my car, it struck me and I flew about 15 feet away. So two men ran to me. They called um, the emergency right away. When they came, they took me straight to the USC hospital with a helicopter. I don't recall anything myself because first things first is I was in a coma and as far as all the other injuries, I had broken about 15 bones. Everything was on my right hand side because that's where the vehicle had struck me. I broke three vertebrae including my C1, C2 and T1. I broke my clavicle, I broke my scapula. I broke five ribs on the right hand side and I also broke, oh I also broke my right chin or fractured it and I also broke my tailbone. I also fractured my skull which led to bleeding in, to, in the brain which is brain damage and brain injury. I was in a coma for about 22 days and luckily transferred out to Rancho Los Amigos. When I first woke up at Rancho, I did have a halo on my head and I was shocked and scared. I had a halo because I had fractured my neck. My doctors and therapists at Rancho Los Amigos were amazing. They had a huge impact on me. Day by day, I was just getting better and better and rapidly healing. One of my favorite doctors was Dr. Montez and we had a very good relationship with one another. He would comfort me, he would keep me calm, he would always be there for me. My therapists were amazing. We went to the mall, we would buy things, grab something to eat, and another um, trip we made was bowling. Surprisingly, I, with a halo, went bowling. It was a very fun trip. And another amazing trip was Disneyland. We went to Disneyland, and I couldn't go on most rides because of the halo, but I was at Disneyland and that was an amazing trip for me. And it's just shocking how Rancho Los Amigos does all these amazing creative events for their patients because you just feel like a normal person, like nothing's wrong. My first words from what my mom has told me was when she walked into the room, I was like, hi mommy. And she just started bawling and crying. I'm so blessed to have gone to Rancho Los Amigos. I love that hospital. I'm back at school, back in sports, back to my old lifestyle because of Rancho Los Amigos. Coming into the 2011 season, I am captain once again, and I'm doing the same old events that I used to do. I'm a sprinter. I continue doing the one and the two and the 400 meters the relays 4x1, 4x4, and I continue doing long jump as well. I've been a much stronger, much more determined athlete than I've ever been, and everyone notices that, how much I've improved throughout the years. My dream after my accident is to become a doctor. I would love to be a doctor. I would love to get my MD, and hopefully, if God wants, work at either Rancho Los Amigos or the USC County Hospital. I honestly think I'm here for a reason. After everything I've been through, I do feel like a walking miracle. I constantly have a big smile on my face because I'm just so happy to be here the way that I am. I just appreciate life so much more and I enjoy every second, every day of my life now.